Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me, and today I'm going to be doing my May favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time because every time I wanted to do it, it was like always 10 days after the start of the month, so I was like, is it worth it? Should I wait till the next month? And then when I got to the next month, it happened again. So the cycle kept repeating, but it's okay. It's stopping here. I'm doing it for you guys today. So for this favorites video, I decided to pick just 10 beauty products that I've been loving recently. But before we get into the video, how exciting is this background? I've literally wanted to do like a gallery wall for like five years now. Not five years, but like you get the gist. <laughs> So let me know if you guys like this gallery wall. I kind of want to do like a blog post or like a short video on it. I don't know. If you guys want to see it, I will totally do it. So the first thing I wanted to talk about was my Clarisonic. I didn't really know what I was missing without it. And when I got it, I was just like, is this really like that great? I read a lot of articles saying that like right when you get the Clarisonic, it brings all your impurities out on the surface of your skin. So your skin will be a little bad like for like three weeks or a month or something like that. I was just kind of skeptical about that whole thing, but I decided to try it out. And now that I'm past that stage, I use it every single day, morning and night. And I got the Deep Pour package. So this brush is a deep pour cleansing brush, I think. And I bought a normal brush, but I just don't even use it because this is amazing. Clarisonics are really pricey, and I know there's so many more brushes out there that can probably do the same job. And I haven't tried out any other cheaper versions, but I really do like my Clarisonic. Also, if you guys want me to show you a skincare routine, I'd be happy to. So let me know in the comments down below. So next is something that I put on right after I use my Clarisonic. Percy Beauty actually sent me a package of just some things to try out. I got to try out the Ultra Repair Cream, and it was just a sample size, but I loved it enough to go to Sephora and get one of my own. This moisturizer doesn't leave me feeling oily. It just gives me the right amount of moisture. And this is really great because I actually used to have eczema, and I still kind of do, and it says, hydrates dry, parched skin, relieves minor irritation due to eczema. Shout out to me. And it's safe for sensitive skin, so this is just a safe bet. Next, I have the Glambo Lip Scrub, and it's the Fizzy Lip Exfoliating Treatment. I love putting this on my lips and exfoliating with it after putting on all of my makeup because sometimes my foundation can get on my lips and it just doesn't look cute. So I go and rub it, then it becomes a perfect base for you to put on lip product. I have tried the Lush Lip Scrub before, and I can honestly say this is so much better and I think this one was like maybe like 16 to $20 and the Lush one was like maybe around 10 So it's not that much more expensive, but I really do think it is worth it to splurge on this one. So speaking of lip products, I have this one from Anthropology, I think. It's the Rosebud Salve and one quick complaint, this packaging is so annoying. Sometimes the product gets on the side so it's really hard to open because it doesn't like to have a screw off thing, you just have to like pop it off. Oh my god, I like struggle with this thing on a daily. But the product inside it is really awesome. I usually put this on after I exfoliate my lips, and then I put on my lip product of the day. But I feel like this keeps my lips moisturized for so long. And I'm that girl that puts on chapstick every 10 minutes, so this is a lifesaver for me. So one more lip product I need to show you guys is this NYX Full Throttle Lipstick. And this is in the color Kiss the Dust. It's just a really nice mauve color. I'm wearing this on my lips right now on top of Ashton by Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this alone is really awesome too. Sometimes I use it as like a really thick lip liner, just fill in my whole lip, and then put a really nice nude in the middle of my lips. I love the formula of this because it's matte, but it goes on so smooth on your lips. like. It feels like you're putting on chapstick. So if you like the matte finish but don't like drying products on your lips, then I really recommend this one. Next up is the Shiseido Quick Fix Mist. Oh my god, that is like a tongue twister right there. I used to use Urban Decay Setting Spray, but now I use this to set my face. This just makes your whole face not look as cakey as it was before. And the lady at Sephora said it has acne fighting properties. And it's just so refreshing to put on. It's actually like a gel formula. 
It's just like a liquid gel type thing. So when you spray it on, it dries super fast and it feels amazing. I don't always spray my face after I do my makeup, but I bring this everywhere I go because sometimes when I want to freshen up throughout the day, I'll just spray this on and my makeup will be fixed in a second. Next is this Honey Bronze Shimmering Oil from The Body Shop. And you're probably thinking like, what are you doing with that? Like you're already tan. But this actually just makes me glow because sometimes I feel like my tan is a little bit ashy and like it doesn't look like nice and like bronzed if that makes sense. I actually bought this at first because I really wanted my skin to just glow for formal because I was showing a lot of skin in my dress. So all I had to do was pour this on a dry brush and then just like, you know, brush where I wanted it on my body. And I thought it looked so pretty and it looks so amazing when you put it on your decollete right here. And I feel like every time I wear this on my legs, they just look a lot slimmer and they look so much better in pictures. Next, I have these MAC eyeshadows. So this is in corduroy and that is in saddle and saddle is like literally my go-to for everything and anything. I love it so much. It's the perfect transition color. And on most days, I just put saddle in my crease and then just be done with that. Then I have Expensive Pink and Naked Lunch. And if I'm feeling fancy, I'll put Saddle in my crease and then put Expensive Pink on my lid. And it just makes the most natural look ever. So if you're just looking for two eyeshadows, I definitely recommend just getting the lighter matte brown, which was Saddle, and then the Expensive Pink color because I think that pairing is so pretty on every skin color. So next up is the one, the only Laura Mercier Setting Powder. I love this stuff. It has changed my whole life, guys, like legit. I really didn't realize how important setting your face was, but it's important and you guys need to do it. If you guys aren't doing it, then that's probably why your makeup isn't lasting or you feel too cakey or you just look too oily. This will solve all those problems. And sometimes I see like on other people that their under eyes are so white and just like starch white. And I really don't think it's because they use like too white of a concealer. I think it's all in the setting powder. I used to use banana powder and you could see where I like put it. And I've seen a lot of other people like use like NYX setting powders and I can see like where they put it. But I swear once you get this, that problem will go away. But seriously, try this out. You can probably go to Sephora and get a sample for it because I know it is a little bit pricey, but it's worth it. And the last product I want to talk about is the Naked Illuminated Highlighter. This is so pretty. I love it, especially for my skin color. I have been making the mistake and getting like white people highlighters, if that makes sense. Like I got Soft and Gentle, which doesn't look too bad, but I think it's just for a little bit more fair complexions. So I finally got one that like went with my skin color and it makes for the most perfect nose highlight ever. In Sephora, it was like super pigmented. Like if I did this, I would have like it all over my hand. But for some reason, it's not anymore. At first, I would just like dip a dry brush in there and just like put it on my face. I didn't feel like it did much for me. But my friend Gwen just taught me to spray my brush with any setting spray and then dip it in there and like apply it. Or you can spray your face with setting spray and then apply it. And then it'll increase the pigmentation. And I've been doing that a lot and it helps so much. Oh my goodness. That's it of my favorites for this month. I really want to know what you guys are doing this summer. Like I'm hella bored right now and I need to get ideas on what to do. So leave them in the comments down below because help your sister out, seriously. But I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Let me love boy, I just know. Let me love boy, I just know. Let me love Got up in my